I am delighted to be joined today by Ryan O'Hearn, first baseman slash DH with the uh, Kansas City Royals. Ryan, uh, welcome to Crack and the Bat. Uh, to give you a little bit of uh, info on Crack and the Bat, it's uh, it's part of the Irish American Baseball Irish American Baseball Society, which is basically uh, as a, a, an organization of Irish people who love baseball and baseball people who love Ireland. I appreciate you taking some time out of your busy schedule to uh, join us today. And uh, before we begin, congratulations on that uh, double off Granky last night. Yeah, appreciate that. First of all, thanks for having me, man. I I, uh, I think I followed you guys on Twitter uh, <clears throat> a while back, but um, yeah, excited to be here. And, We're delighted. Uh, I'll take that double off Granky. And hey, listen, that's it's cool. not a double at Kaufman. I'm glad we were playing in Houston. Um, uh, we, 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 we'll cover that in a second. So, I mean, Ryan Patrick O'Hearn. I mean, we definitely, you're definitely not Italian, that's for sure. But, <laughs> yeah. in, so, interesting fact now, in, in, the, in the spirit of full disclosure, I, you're in a hotel room in Atlanta. I'm in a hotel room. Sorry, I'm in a hotel room in Atlanta. You're in a hotel room in Houston. Uh, but yep. normally, I would be doing this uh, interview in Dunedin, Florida, where I believe is where you were born. That's, that is correct, yes. I was born in Dunedin, Florida. Uh, we lived in um, Newport Ritchie until I was about uh, 14, and then moved, I moved to uh, Dallas. Very cool, very cool. Because John and I were arguing, John says, no, Wikipedia says Frisco. And I'm like, I don't know, I saw someplace who's born in Dunedin, I'm going to go with Dunedin, because we live in Dunedin, delightfully different Dunedin. You know, yeah. so you know what, I did, like I said, we've got 50 minutes. I did all sorts of research on, on your career. And, you know, I mean, you're, you know, and you're, you went to Sam Houston State where Dan Rather went and the guy who started Kung Fu Panda. And, and then I, yeah. you know, I looked at the list of teams you played for. The Idaho Falls Chuckers, the Le Lexington Legends, the Wilmington Blue Rocks, the Delaware Arkansas Naturals, and the Omaha Storm Chasers. And we're going to talk all about this. And then I had a conversation with a good buddy of mine, Joel Goldberg. Mm -hmm. And I said, Joel, I said, I'm doing an interview with, with uh, by the way, I love your nickname, Broher. I said, yeah. I, I, what's he like? He said, he's the dude's the greatest. He said, uh, he said, and so I said, you know what? I, I don't really care about the Idaho, City, Idaho Falls Chuckers. I want to know how a guy who plays for the Kansas City Royals, who basically, whose boss, one of his bosses technically, is Patrick Mahomes, who lives, <laughs> yeah. who lives in Frisco, Texas, which is the home of the, uh, the, the uh, you know, America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, yep. which is a Packers fan. Yeah, yeah, that's a common question. That's, uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, my, my dad's side of the family is from Milwaukee, and he's, he's you know, one of seven, So I, and he's got a lot of brothers, and they're all big Green Bay Packer fans. Obviously, they all still live there except for him. Uh, and, and our side of the family has, uh, I think, seven season tickets at Lambeau. So <clears throat> since I was a kid, you know, we would go up there, try to go up there once a season, once every winter and go see a Packer game at Lambeau Field. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, just kind of instilled in me when I was a kid. And, and I've loved the Packers ever since. I'm, You know, I grew up watching Brett Favre and then it turned Aaron Rodgers. And, um, you know, I just fell in love with the, with them as a kid and. Uh, you know, I'll be a Packer fan for life. So, so where's where's Ma, what's what's your mother's side of the family? Where are they from? Uh, German. Kip, uh, she, her, make, major, her maiden name was Kibler. So, so I'm. Uh, I, I, would, I would say if you're going to have a mix like that, you want your father to be Irish and your mother to be the other because you're going to eat better. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, well, neither of them really cooked. So, I mean, it was. A... <laughs> so, so, so that's from, that's from Milwaukee. Correct. Now, so, I mean, there's a huge, huge Irish American uh, community in Milwaukee. Did you ever go to any of the festivals as a kid? Um, no, we, I went to Oktoberfest which is German, but, um, but yet my, my dad's side of the family is all there's, you know, <clears throat> super into the Irish heritage. And, you know, you go to any of their houses and there's just, you know, all the, all the, uh, poems gotcha. and all the Irish, yeah. You know, may the wind always be at your back and, you know, all the, all the, uh, 
road right to meet you. Yeah, that Celtic was crosses and everything on the wall, and um, you know, it's it was just kind of always part of you know growing up, especially when we'd go to Milwaukee and hang out with my dad's side of the family. Um, they definitely embraced their Irish heritage. Now, your dad was a beer vendor at County Stadium. He was. He was a he was a beer vendor at County Stadium, and his uh, two of his brothers were as well. Um, so they used to, you know, sell, he told me he'd sell beer at the games and then, uh, come, you know, the seventh inning, he'd go, they'd go out, he'd take his motorcycle back to his place in downtown Milwaukee, you know, weaving through traffic and all that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's every time we play the brewers, it's kind of, kind of crazy to think about, you know, my dad used to sell beer at the brewers games and, uh, you know, he, he gets a kick out of it every time Joel mentions him on the, uh, on the air. Now, the, the, the cool thing about it, I don't know if you ever had a chance to go to a game at County Stadium, but uh, the great thing about uh, the, I always said the Brewers fans were the smartest fans because they tailgate after the game. <laughs> yeah. You come those the game. You those people I, tailgate but, at all times, man. Well, they I, like I, to I, drink. You, you go to the games and like all the, they have all of their, uh, they have all of their, um, you know, the barbecue gear is still set up. And I was like, well, why would they leave it that? And you come out after the game. And it makes sense because the parking lot's packed. So, you yeah. know what? You fire up the grill. You know, you have a couple of, uh, you have a couple of uh, brats. And then when the traffic dies down, you leave, you know? Yep. So, I was looking here and I saw, so uh, because we were supposed to do this interview, I guess, last week when you were in Chicago. And that's where you hit your first home run. Mm-hmm. In my um, debut. Off in your debut, so I have a question for you. You hit your you and Bartolo Colon both hit your first home runs off big game James Shields. Jamie, yeah, that, that that was pretty cool. But so you were lucky enough, I guess. Your parents were 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 there when you hit that hit that home run. Yeah, so my my parents were there. Brother and sister was there. Um, and you know what's funny about that is uh, my. It was off James Shields. <clears throat> my parents, like shortly after that, uh, retired and moved to a like a 55 plus community in Phoenix <clears throat> and ended up meeting uh, James Shields parents. And now my mom plays pickleball with James Shields mom all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Small world. Yeah. So I so in the off season when I go out there and visit him, I, I'll see uh, James from time to time. Well, hopefully he won't be as angry about giving up the home run to you. Or is it <laughs> You know, we never talked about it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't and, uh, know. Now, so, so you, you come up and then, you know, the schedule comes out for 2020 and you see that the, that the Royals are going to be playing the Brewers in Milwaukee. And it's got to be, uh, this is going to be so cool. And of course, COVID took that away from you. Mm-hmm. But then by quirk of the schedule, you get to go back this year. Mm-hmm. So you're, yeah. So so if I'm if I'm correct, there's a, there's a game to be played that I guess your family were going to, and then they brought the game forward because the because of the uh, Milwaukee the basketball Bucks. game. Yep. So you're yeah. on the bench. You can't you you get you get your Matini calls your number. You get to come up, and was it a three run pinch hit home run? Uh, yeah, I believe so. And uh... win the game. Yeah, that was a good day. <clears throat> that was a cool day for me. Um, you know, just in batting practice before the game, there's, <clears throat> you know, I don't see a lot of O'Hearn jerseys, especially on the road, but I saw quite a few that day. It was all my family there. You know, they had the O'Hearn jerseys on, and they're they're yelling and screaming during batting practice, and they were all fired up all game. And, um, you know, obviously they were disappointed that I wasn't in the lineup, but it was a lefty, and, you know, I figured that was going to be the case. So I kind of prepared them, hey, I'm probably not going to start, but, uh, to National League game, so I could be in at any point. And then, uh, you know, just the way it worked out was was pretty crazy. It's it's weird, man. It seems like every time I'm on the road playing in a place where I have a lot of people there or uh, it's a familiar place or it's there's something special, why, you know, it means something to me, something good always happens. It's like the good Lord's looking out for me or whatever. But um, that was a cool moment, you know, around in second base. <clears throat> Obviously, it's great to hit a homer, especially put your team up you know, in a big league game, then that's huge. But, uh, you know, around the second base and seeing, you know, my dad uh, just couldn't be smiling any bigger and all his buddies around, his brothers and everybody. And it, it was a pretty cool moment. Ryan, you, you know what that is, right? It's the luck it's of the boy. Irish. 
You're lucky the Irish, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, we, yeah, we after our, you know, we take care of things like that, you know. And um, so Tim Carr is our resident genealogist, and I guess he was doing some digging into the O'Hearn clan. And I'm not sure if you know this or not, but he, he his, uh, your family are from Cork and Limerick. Um, and, I didn't know that. Uh, you, you should, because Limerick uh, just won the All Ireland hurling final, which is basically the equivalent of the Super Bowl. Oh, really? Wow. You can you can take uh, you can take plenty of uh, credit for that. Uh, a couple of questions I want to ask you: What's the significance of '66, or is there a significance? Yeah, so uh, my first big league spring training, they gave me 66. And then, um, you know, I had it again the next year. And when I make, you know, when you have that number in spring training and you make your debut late in the year, that's just pretty much what they give you. So in 2018, when I got called up, I wore 66 and I, you know, I played really well. Um, and then when I came back the next year, they, oh, and then that offseason, my, you know, Green Bay Packer fan, uh, uncles were all talking about, you know, 66 Ray Nitschke, Packers legend Ray Nitschke, and he wore 66. And, you know, I kind of did some research on Ray Nitschke, became a fan of him and his, his toughness and just pretty much how badass that guy was. And then, uh, you know, I decided to stick with it. <clears throat> so here we are, it's 2021, so a couple years later. And um, I don't know, I feel like 66 is one of those numbers where, you know, it's, it's not common, but it's not uncommon. Like you see more position players wearing 66 than probably 55 or 44, right? Like it's 66 is not a crazy but, number to have. But you've had luck with it and you've done well with it and you go with it, you know? Yeah, I mean, exactly. There's, there's <clears throat> some guy with the Yankees wears 99. So I mean, what's the point? Yeah, that's, that's true. You know, I wasn't sure if it was Route 66 or something like that. And you know, who knows? I, I mean, part of the part of the goal of the Irish American Baseball Society is we're trying to improve the game in Ireland and, and grow the game in Ireland. And also, you know, we're hoping at one point that there will be, a, you know, an Irish Olympic team or a World Baseball Classic. And, you know, how cool Baseball. would it be for you to get to wear that uh, 66 with Ireland across your chest? You know, that would be would be something. So, Ryan, listen, I really, awesome. it, I really appreciate you doing this. Uh, I want to thank Swanee for helping me do this. And, um yeah, you know, you tell Joel that you want to come to the uh, to Winemania with us. We go to Wyoming. That's how I know Joel. We go to Wyoming every year, and we uh, it's a hunting trip with no guns, and there's a lot of baseball stories and a lot of beers beers had. Really, that sounds like a blast, man. Listen, uh, and uh, by the way, uh, it was an all around Irish uh, success for the Royals last night because uh, the, you're starting Lynchy. Lynchy, you know. So I figured, you know, hey, listen, the Irish guys are taking over <laughs> the city. Brian, it's been an hour. I just had, by the way, I just, <clears throat> I just sat down with Lynch 20 minutes ago for lunch and I told him I was doing this interview and he told me that his name, but you know, back in the day, his ancestors was O Lynch. So they dropped the O. Yeah, like, well, you know, the the Irish guy too. let's give you a very brief lesson in, 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 uh, in the Irish language. Um, any name that has O on the front of it means from. Okay. So, so Mark. If you say Mac, you know, like, you know, like uh, Q or whatever it is, Mac is, the, Mac is the Irish for son. So Q means son of, of Hugh. O okay. is from. So at some point we had a Hearn. So you might have uh, Mac Hearn or A Hearn. And then O would mean from. So, yes, you can tell Mr. Right. Well, you learn something new every day. That's, that's interesting. Brian. Absolute pleasure. Good luck the rest of the way. Um, you know, have a blast. Uh, give my best to Swanee. Uh, I know he's retiring. He is, without a doubt, one of the best. Um, Absolute we, legend. We appreciate this. And ho who knows if you get if you come through the next time you come through Tampa, we we'll get together. Maybe we'll go to delightful Dunedin and have a cocktail or two. I'm in. All right, Sean. Thanks for All having right. me. Thank you. Bye bye.